more of it. And two of the players who uh, we do, one of these players we see all the time stepping up to stream right now, it's going to be Vivi stepping up against Slingshot. Yeah, and we saw previously so Slingshot and Vivi were both on stream. Uh, Vivi beating uh, Solar Beam and Slingshot beating Louis Jesus. Um, so Slingshot playing very well today. Um, really close set with Louis Jesus. So we're going to have to make some adaptations here against Vivi. A super strong player. Obviously one of the strongest in New York. So we're going to see uh, if Diddy can make it work. And, you know, Diddy does pretty well versus Lucario. But this is yeah, Diddy. It's okay. <laughs> it's, Diddy does well. And we're seeing that Diddy do well. But I feel like in about mm, 20 or 30%, uh, we're going to see Diddy start to crumble. Because he's a very good character. Fantastic neutral. But... He needs to kill eventually. So at some point, the clock needs to wind down, and that is when Vivi, his power unlocks, and that's where we're starting to approach that here. Vivi's been, you know, for the most part, just trying to hang back, move around, charge up that aura sphere. Slingshot, I like the fact that he's trying to, you know, be more careful about how he's getting in, because a single mistake can lead to all of this. 51% off of two hits? I didn't even keep track. Yeah, I mean, Lucario is one of those characters, once we get to that 80% mark, he's a real character now. And you're taking 20% every interaction, so you gotta be real careful because it's gonna be one more interaction when you take 20%, and then you're gonna die. Yeah. Interestingly enough, hasn't really pulled out Banana that much. Finally has it in hand. Let's see if it can possibly lead to a stop. Okay, he has it, Banana. Oh, but he was aerial, didn't get the slip, meaning that that was not gonna be the actual ticket to victory. And as it stands, 63%, a late dash attack is bringing up those numbers. Yeah, and that, the thing with Diddy is when you do hit the aerial, that wasn't quite true. You saw uh, Diddy jump out there. But you want to, if, if you are unsure as to if the character's going to be aerial or not, you just want to go straight for grab or straight for uh, dash attack or straight for fair, because that is true. Yeah, but at that point, he needs to get the kill, yeah. which is why he was extra hungry for it. And now things are, you know, Slingstock can breathe a little bit easier. He's only at 89%, but Vivi, more importantly, is only at 11 uh, Never mind! You oh, know, right! I forgot! I was thinking in my head, oh, he's not really close to dying anytime super soon, but yeah, you get roll red F smash by Vivi, and that's, uh, that's going to be your stock just about, like, 70 onwards, so irregardless of Lucario's percent. All right, and oh, just like that, I feel like there was some momentum that Slingshot had, and it has been snatched away. All of a sudden, we have an even game. When you compare that to what was happening just a minute and a half ago, I feel like Vivi has started to figure out how he needs to be playing this matchup. Look at it, being very aerial again, being so evasive, stalling with down airs, just being extra tricky. Slingshot has not really been able to put the pressure on like he had been before. 80% and climbing. Yeah, and that's the thing here. Vivi kind of does have to maintain that aerial game plan. Oh my gosh, casting him out of the monkey flip. So good by Vivi. Um, but Vivi does have to ma maintain that aerial gameplay here. You you don't really want to be on the floor against Diddy Kong because that is where you are most susceptible. So you're seeing Vivi jump a lot, utilizing Lucario's excellent air ability. Yeah, and oh, the back air taking Slingshot down. Now this is where things become really difficult. How is he actually going to get this stock when he was struggling to do so before when he had Rage? Now, Vivi just even more. Oh, every single time he gets hit, it leads to just an absolute truckload of damage. And yeah. okay. Oh, interesting monkey flip to get out of that pressure situation. But... Yeah. Hasn't really been able to start much. And this and this is like that situation where you really don't want to be against Lucario because yes, of course, you know, stock aura does matter, but like Lucario's already at 97. This is already good aura, even with stock aura being taken into account. So Vivi is at the point where you are absolutely dying to a whole lot of things at this percent. Yeah, he needs to find this kill and a downer, even more damage. Slingshot, he's a, doing a good job of maintaining center stage here, but can with that little bit of stage advantage actually, can that turn into a stock? It does. Great job reading that air dodge, and that's going to be even stocks apiece. And, you know, honestly, this is not the worst thing in the world for Slingshot because he has about 30-40% of breathing room before he really has to worry so much about dying. Yeah, and right now, can he, he, well, he wants to get his roll right smashed again. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> always on the table. But yeah, you are you are seeing here that you know Vivi is just trying to maintain that aerial positioning, not trying to force anything. You do have that massive lead, that back air is a huge hitbox. Further, we're just not gonna be able to do it just yet. Uh, that is not kill without aura. Um, however, Vivi again doesn't really have to pressure ledge. Diddy has so many options to get off. Uh, Vivi can kind of maintain center stage and not be afraid. You are Lucario. You're gonna have the ability to kill fairly soon here, and that side is absolutely gonna be enough. And Vivi's gonna take that game number one. Yeah, and. What happened? So it felt like after that forward smash on the first stock, 
I, I'm not sure if it was maybe like the mentality, you know, that when you're immediately when you're playing a character that has very neutral focus, like Diddy, you have to have a lot of presence of mind. You need to constantly be thinking about shutting down your opponent's options. And when you die at like 50 to a Lucario at zero per, while well, he's at zero, yeah, it's it can just be. Yeah, and you can see here. So Diddy's role is pretty good, but not. It's not like Smash Four level where it was like broken. Um, you're gonna see that he's gonna go. He look how happy he is. He's he's about, he's about to meet a very unfortunate fate. Also, look how flat Lucario is. So he's gonna go is. right into his roll animation, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. You're rolling. I, I'm gonna just uh, end your existence. Quick turnaround with the F smash, and uh, Diddy is about to be real sad after being real happy. I, uh, you don't even see him. He explodes on. into yeah. the aether. He goes. Can we have an appreciation for Diddy's roll animation it's at great. these specific frames here? It's a barrel. It's a barrel roll. It's, it's, it's he's just... playing Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> look is. at it, look at him. He's 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 playing DK Country. Um, okay. Um, and that is going to unfortunately be um, game number one going to Vivi, at least unfortunately for our, our friend Slingshot here. Yeah. However, um, again. It, he was playing the game well. It was really Vivi kind of caught on to a few things. There was a jump read second stock with back air. There was a roll and read uh, first stock. Uh, if we can, you know, continue mixing it up for Slingshot, I expect a stronger performance in that game number yeah, three, yeah. Uh, two. I do also think that it's important that we took a game and now maybe wipe that slate clean and he can go back to that sort of state of mind he was in at the beginning of game one. I just really almost want to dwell on that. The reason why that first stock worked so well for him before was because he never broke 50 or so until, uh, you know, he took Vivi's stock. And even at these lower percents, you know, even though Lucario doesn't do that much damage, it's only going to be about, you know, 30. Okay, four, that's actually a solid amount of damage, all things considered. But now it's like once he gets Lucario to kill percent, he is kind of at death percent himself. And, oh man, he's not even, that's if he gets the lead. He's not even getting the lead right now. Slingshot at 75, BB at 49, putting on... It's pressure from across the stage, always threatening. Monkey Flip is just not an option we've seen that much because Aura Sphere is just always a presence. Good job with the up tilt to back air. It's going to be some nice damage in stage positioning, but oh, he really wanted that. He was hoping that banana connected, but BB shielding in time dodges the worst of it. Yeah, and that bounce animation on up is so big, right? Uh, Lucario gets put in a lot less lag if he does the bounce first and then lands. Um, and it's going to allow BB to get back to stage and not only do that, but it's going to be able to take that first stock uh, due to the neutral reset. Yeah, and all of this aura on Lucario. 91% means that. Look how big those spheres are. Oh, those are some big blue balls he's chucking. Ooh, and look, you know what? I, what I want to see LRA start doing, I, what we really haven't seen a whole lot of, is, is, is those monkey flips, right? Start doing those monkey flips on unreactable ranges, right? Obviously, you're in threat of those aura spheres. But you're at a position where now you have to start getting Vivi off stage to take stocks. Monkey Flip is a great way to facilitate that. Yeah, that stage positioning is so important. He just hasn't been able to find it in I don't know, the last 30 seconds. And uh, going in unwisely! The Pratfall! The Pratfall, Salty Fun! Into oh up smash! God. So trips like send it to platform pretty easily in this game. Like D DK, for example, can detail you at like the edge of a platform forever, but as soon as you trip, you fall off. Um, into pratfall, and Vivi was so on top of that, loses a stock there. But good golly, Tamale, that stock. Yeah, and okay, Slingshot, he's not dead. He's no. not. He, his soul hasn't been crushed. If it were me, I would be out of this venue. But you know, he has the wherewithal to stay with it, and because of that, he's actually. If you didn't know what was happening the last 30 seconds, you would assume this has been a very even game. Yeah, bringing it right back. Actually, you know, not being too deterred by that, um, by that crap wall up smash. And right now, you know, in a position where Banana Smash will kill most places on the stage. Um, I, I think Vivi knows that, and that's why he's yeah. jumping at these very specific heights that even if he does get hit, he does not die. And then, all right, wow. the down tilt up smash is actually going to be what takes it. And just like that, only 39% on Slingshot. Considering the fact that Lucario isn't going to be killing until he's around death percent either, this is a dead even game. Okay, and we're looking to get back into the floor right now. Okay, so he's not going to be able to do just that. Okay, here's a big combo possibly. Oh, he waited for that air dodge. That was so good. Scouted it out, and all of this damage as a result. 
Vivi is now actually playing from behind here. It's so rare to see people actually make three stock to one comebacks, but Slingshot right now is kind of on the cusp of doing that. 75% on Vivi. This is actually quite rough for him. He's starting to build up that aura at the same time, though. You cannot forget his moves are becoming more threatening the more damage he takes. I was about to say, that's probably fun. Is Vivi behind? Is he? I, I, if it, if, here's the thing. If Slingshot had been winning this entire game, I would say no Vivi's not behind. But the yeah. fact that Slingshot has been making this comeback, I do still think that momentum is in his favor. Absolutely. I would have absolutely agree with that. Okay, but this is a scary situation. Not going to be enough. Wow, oh, even without great DI, still going to be able to live that. Yeah, he didn't have enough rage on himself if only he had taken more damage. But, oh, this is actually really dicey now. Is that actually going to be it? Wow, that wow. is. A full three-stock comeback coming out from the slingshot I, there. After a crazy first two stocks from Vivi. Yeah. Um, and a quick taunt to get bodied, might I add. He taunted after the up smash, which he deserved. Wait, yeah, he, he did? Yeah, he, Vivi taunted after, after, the, uh, the up, after the up smash. But, um, yeah, slingshot took that in stride. Did not let Vivi's momentum get to his head and built some momentum of his own after taking that second or that first stock so quickly. And that second stock was really just a quick ledge trap over and over and over again until LRA Start was able to finish that game off. Yeah, looking. Ooh, okay. that was so nasty. That was so nasty. All right, and now we are here in game three. I can't believe we're here in a game three between these two players, but, oh, did he do a character? Uh, color swap. Color swap. He yeah, did do Vivi swap. does, is, 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 is well known to do the color swaps pretty often here. However, this is a huge game three, and we're running it right back to um, to Stadium. Did he great stage for Diddy? Um, so I'm not surprised that we're back here, but also great stage for Lucario. So I'm not surprised that Vivi decides to uh, go here as well. Um, and Giga gets some big damage to start off again. Vivi is going to be maintaining that aerial space uh, in the beginning of this game. Going to try to just really prevent himself from getting those those big combos off on Diddy or against Diddy, I should say. Yeah, you know, Slingshot being a lot more aggressive this time around, throwing out all of these aerials we're seeing for up airs, back airs, all over the place. That's sort of thing what's working out for him. But if he's not careful, Vivi can start crushing him. He's the one in the corner right now, looking for that roll that would have been absolutely devastating if he had gone for it. Oh, but the devastation comes in regardless. Regardless, 102% off stage. Good recovery to get him back to the ledge. But there it is, catching the air dodge in. Man, Vivi just knew. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Vivi, uh, oftentimes you see that or spear back air, but if Vivi's not confident in hitting that, especially when the spacing is weird on ledge like that, you're going to panic an air dodge. So Vivi's just going to uh, dash back in and do that turnaround F smash. Yeah, and things are, this is the sort of thing where it can escalate. It can escalate really quickly if Slingshot is not able to take the stock back. He was able to make a uh, three stock to one comeback last time around. Wow. Oh. <laughs> but that still didn't kill, man. Did he's kill power. It's just not there, man. Yeah, and, that, and that's Ooh. the thing is that Lucario isn't light or heavy in this game like he was in Smash 4, but he is not light. You know, he, he's a midway. He can live a decent amount of time. Yeah, we're seeing that right now, 144%. And oh, look at that, 20 plus off of a not even you're, fully you're charged the aura sphere. Okay, I was about to say, you're definitely going to die off the ne next interaction, so you better kill Lucario here, and so it does just that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think he fell out of the second hit of up smash, but he still got hit by the final one, so... Yeah, Slingshot will take that. Your character functioned uh, just enough. 75%, though, that's... I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world for him because, once again, VV being only at 9 means he needs something like a forward smash uh, in order to actually kill here. Or he could just keep on dishing out damage. He's been trapping him in the corner pretty reliably. Oh, but now the corner is on the other foot. And he actually can hurt any damage off of it. Slingshot has only able to be able to get like a forward error or two. Even with stage positioning, things are just, uh, he's being more careful than he was, and as a result, maybe not finding the exact openings he's hoping for. Oh. And yeah, that's the thing. Vivi has just maintained, yeah, you're dead. Uh, Vivi has just maintained stage control so well, and like really has not done a traditional ledge trap against Diddy Kong because Diddy Kong has the ability to get off ledge so easily with things like Monkey Flip, like Up B, like Ledge Drop Fair. Um, and Vivi has just, really stage-controlled Slingshot to death thus far, and is now up a full stock because of it. Yeah, wow, this is this is a full stock, and not only that, but because it's Lucario, he brings him, even if he brings him to kill percent here, now he's all of a sudden death percent. He is gonna have to face that again soon, even if he is making a comeback. Okay, here we go, though. He's trying to get out of that corner. Nice job getting that 
back air on the other side. But once again, not able to convert that much. And now these R spheres, they're looking bigger. They're looking scarier and meaner. And it means that he cannot actually move the way he wants to. It's effectively shutting down his movement. Okay. Neutral get up right there is, is super important. Vivi's been mixing up that ledge pretty well. Uh, hasn't really shown that a whole lot. So it's an excellent option by him to get past the uh, the really strong ledge trap that was coming out from Slingshot. Ooh, what a catch! Scooping him, just dashing the other way in the very tips of his fingies. Catching him, and that's enough to bring things to a, a pretty even state. This is reminding me of game two. And it's even less of a comeback than he had to make in game two. Yeah, but and the momentum's definitely on Slingshot's side here, right? We, you know, we, we saw taking that stock there was a big deal for him. Definitely can, has continued to maintain that, getting a quick 45% just to start off. And again, you don't want to get Lucario almost too high here, but um, because you're already at 80, you're at Lucario death percent. Yeah, I, th I think it's eventually like, you're going to have to deal with a death percent Lucario. And I think he does have momentum, but that momentum is going to shatter as soon as he gets hit by, like, one really strong Lucario move, and then he's like, oh, no. And that's kind of... Oh, but he's not letting that happen, abusing Diddy's better frame data. Up there's not enough. Not enough damage on Vivi to actually close it out. Oh, and that, that dangerous banana um, in neutral there ended up almost costing him. No way. Oh, oh wait! Mess oh. up. Mess up the initial confirm. Almost able to get a, 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 a catch afterward. Yeah, but he's not able to do it. But both of these guys, they're deep in the red right now. Slingshot's looking a little bit worse for wear, but... Oh, that's oh. not enough to kill! Oh my gosh, and the DI was not good. Just barely able to get back to the stage. And there it is, the F tilt. That'll be more than enough to close it out. Keeping so, so even, though. Yeah. And DB was one of the top seeded players here tonight. Yeah, and, and Slingshot, no slouch. He's no. been getting top eight here at Xeno before. But uh, yeah, this time around was so, so close yeah, to you take can't, you can't. That's a bad roll. I, you know what? I, we have John numbers in the room, ye like yelling in the background. He's like, "Come on!" It yeah. was a bad roll, John. Not only so, not it was a bad roll. And also, I agree go back, with you. If we if we can go back to that last stock right there, another reason why this is a bad roll is because F tilting. Hold on a second. So here, F tilting in this position actually covers a lot more. Like for instance, if Diddy Kong had chosen to go for some type of Excuse me. Uh, if he had tried, tried to go for some type of forward air, he would have been like right about there. And then yeah. if that happened, that forward tilt also would have caught him. Yeah. So it's like multiple options, multiple panic options in the corner. Also, if he had monkey flipped, you know, he's going back but still coming forward. So F tilting there, it's not as committal as something like a forward smash, but it still manages to deal with so many of Diddy's panic options. Yeah. And, and the roll was one of them. And once Diddy's at 137, you have no reason to ever F smash with Lucario, right? Yeah, almost, yeah. Almost everything else is. is uh, is killing Diddy there. Uh, and right there, again, could have maybe chosen a better option, but still an excellent performance by Slingshot. Took Vivi to the brink. Um, and yeah, really just an excellent performance overall. Um, and we have more excellent performances coming up for you as we move further on into this bracket. So make sure you are staying tuned for that, and make sure, of course, you are following, following house.